recently, Valley Storm Shelters, a storm shelter safe room designer and manufacturer presented Direct Hit, an unrehearsed demonstration of their steel above ground storm shelter and safe room. During this demonstration, the steel shelter was subjected to several types of severe destructive assaults, similar to those experienced during an EF5 tornado or a home invasion event. This live event was performed before more than 80 witnesses, including Michelle Mason, the president of the North Alabama Better Business Bureau, Randy Branson from the State Emergency Management Agency Mitigation Office, several county emergency management agency representatives, local building inspectors, and local media outlets, including TV channels 48, 31, 19, as well as the Huntsville Times and Birmingham News. Before the test began, the storm shelter safe room was anchored to a concrete slab using seven inch, three quarter inch hardened steel bolts. Using a remote control, a full size 3,500 pound 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix was driven head on into the shelter at approximately 40 miles per hour. Following that impact, a professional firearms instructor took aim and fired several rounds from various weapons at the shelter. Not a single round penetrated the shelter. Then, a 14,000 horsepower jet engine was positioned 20 feet in front of the shelter and chained to the concrete slab. During variable engine throttling, the exhaust thrust created wind force velocities of over 700 miles per hour, impacting the long side of the shelter. Next, 2,000 pounds of brick was dropped from a height of approximately 50 feet onto the top of the shelter. Then, 4,000 pounds of lumber was dropped from approximately 50 feet above the shelter. The 3,500 pound Pontiac Grand Prix was dropped from almost 70 feet directly onto the top of the shelter. Despite this wide variety of punishment, and after various impacts and assaults, the Valley Storm Shelter's entry door still unlocked and opened easily.
Let's do it again. <laughs> 